Hello, my name is Giovanni Zucchelli. I come from Italy. I'm professor of periodontology at the University of Bologna and I'm giving you some advice about the treatment of gingival recessions. The first one is that, in my opinion, there is only one surgical procedure that can be applied, and this is called the coronary advanced flap. The coronary advanced flap can be done in all areas of the mouth. Previously, we did not realize this because we still thought that in order to advance the flap, it was necessary to perform periosteal incision. Now we know that we have to get rid of all muscles, all submucosal tissue from the alveolar mucosa and our flap will be coronary advanced in all areas of the mouth. This is my first advice. And the second one is that the, ad the adjunct of a connective tissue graft is a cytospecific decision. Only in those cases of very deep root abrasion or very prominent root, but this is a specific decision. The main protagonist is always the coronary advanced flap and the connective tissue graft is only used to help the flap to stabilize and to prevent the flap to shrink and to collapse inside the abrasion defect. Finally, I can tell you that in order to achieve the best quality of the attachment between the soft tissue and the root, you have to stabilize the blood at the end of the surgery. At the end of the surgery, we don't have blood clot. Blood clot is it's something that it forms only if there is stability of the blood. So we have to stabilize the blood at the end of the surgery by really closing our wound area. And this can be achieved only by a very tight adaptation of the keratinized tissue of the flap to a very convex, hard and smooth surface. If we have the enamel, that's right. If you don't have the enamel, we have to rebuild the enamel by composite restoration before surgery. This is the only way by clinically stop the blood to seep from the soft tissue margin, to stabilize inside the wound area, and to make blood clot adhesion, which is the first step for the wound healing. I have to tell you that what really changed in the last years is the concept of bilaminar procedure. Once upon a time, in the bilaminar procedure, it was the graft that was covering the root and the flap was helping the graft to stabilize on the root by giving further blood supply. So we need big graft to cover the root, and this is not the patient like because of the pain of the wound area in the palatal aspect. Now everything changed. Now it's the coronary advanced flap that is going to cover the root, and the, and the connective tissue graft is only used to prevent the flap to shrink and to collapse. And so we need very small graft. It does not depend the dimension of the graft with the dimension of the root exposure. Only four to five millimeters height, only 0 0.6, 0.7 millimeter thick of graft are more than enough to stabilize our coronary advanced flap even in the presence of very small or even in the absence of keratinized tissue of the flap. So now the patient can be really more happy because we can treat very deep, multiple gingival recession with the need of very, very small amount of connective tissue taken from their palate.